Hello, everybody. We're getting ready to do lesson 5.6 algebra one. Uh, I'm going to do part one. If you want part two, part three, email me here. 5.6 solve absolute value inequalities. This is part one. Here is the standard. And we got a 30 point skill sheet and an eight point notebook guide here. Uh, teachers, here's your bell work for today. Uh, solving equation, solve this absolute value equation here. Give your students six minutes to do this. Okay, welcome back. We're going to have your solutions now, students. Here's number one, 4B, uh, bracket 4B minus 1 minus 7 equals 17. Move our 7 over here. And then divide through by 4, and then B minus 1 equals 6 equals uh, B equals 7, or B minus 1 equals negative 6, B equals negative 5. And then for the second one here, we're going to move over our 1, and then we d d multiply through by 7 over 4, and then we come up with this, and then we solve for this, um, 3j plus 5 equals 8, or 3j plus 5 equals negative 8. And then we have these two solutions here. And then check them, make sure you check them. Okay, into our lesson, you solve absolute value equation, you will solve absolute value inequalities. So for a softball compression thing, and then recall that uh, bracket x equals three means that distance between x and uh, x and zero is three. The inequality uh, bracket x is less than three means that the distance between x and zero is less than three, and bracket x uh, greater than three means the distance between x and zero is greater than three. The graphs of bracket uh, less than three and bracket greater than three are shown below. Here they are here. Uh, graph of, of these two uh, inequalities here, absolute value inequalities. Graph of um, bracket x uh, less than three would be here. And then graph of x greater than three would be here. So this is that. Okay, solve absolute value inequality, solve the inequality, graph your solution. So here's our bracket x is greater than or equal to 6. So distance between x and 0 is greater than or equal to 6. So here's our x is less than or equal to 6, or x is greater than or equal to 6. So this would be the graph here. It's a complex inequality here because we have an or in between, so they're going in two different directions like that. The solutions are all real numbers, less than or equal to negative 6, or greater than or equal to 6. And then for this one here, x less than or equal to 0.5. The distance between x and 0 is less than or equal to 0.5, so um, negative 0.5 is less than or equal to x, and x is less than or equal to 0.5, so it would be like this right here. There would be a join there, rather than a going in two separate directions. Okay, so solve the inequality, graph your solution. Uh, bracket x is less than or equal to 8. Students, this is yours here. Bracket u is less than 3.5. So to solve this and to graph it, uh, negative 8 would be less than or equal to x, and x would be less than or equal to 8. And then here would be the graph. And negative 8 would be on the bottom end, and then a positive 8 will be on the top end of this compounding inequality here. Solving absolute value inequalities. In example 1, the solutions of bracket x greater than or equal to 6 and bracket x less than or equal to 0. 0.5. So that suggests that you can rewrite an absolute value inequality as a inequality. So solving absolute value inequalities. Inequality bracket a, a x plus b less than c, where c is greater than 0, is equal is equivalent to the compound inequality ax plus b is less than negative c or ax plus b is greater than c. So inequalities above less than can be replaced by less than or equal to and greater than can be replaced by uh, greater than or equal to. Okay, example two, bracket x minus y greater than or equal to seven, graph your solution. So there's the original. We have x minus 5 is less than or equal to negative 7, or x minus 5 is greater than or equal to uh, positive 7. 
So we're going to have a situation here where x is uh, less than or equal to negative 2, or x is greater than or equal to 12, add 5 to each side. Solutions are all reals, or less than or equal to negative 2, or greater than or equal to 12. Check several solutions. So here we have, they're going in two different directions here. And that would be your graph of that inequality. Okay, our guide of practice, solve the inequality, graph your solutions, x plus bracket x plus 3 greater than 8. And students, this is yours, bracket 2w minus 1 is less than 11. Uh, graph your solution. There's your number lines there. Solve the inequality, graph your solution, bracket x plus 3 greater than 8. So we're going to have a situation like this, negative 8 and then positive 8. So x is less than negative 11. We're going to uh, move this over here. And then over here, uh, it would be a negative 3 over the other side would be greater than 4. And that was your graph. And if you want part two, part three, email me here. If you need to go back and check out the video and pause the frame to get that one slide, go ahead. Thank you very much.